Hi, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a podcast from scratch using a plain vanilla, more or less vanilla WordPress website and the Blueberry PowerPress plugin. Now, the podcast I want to create is a continuation of my book, Broken Bowels, Tales of a Super Survivor. You can get a free copy, by the way, if you support me on Patreon. If you like what I do, then all your donations will go into all the projects I do, including, of course, this video, and you get funky perks in return. So that's the podcast I'm going to make. I'm going to have basically written this book. Uh, that's a kind of a history of my whole cancer journey and the thing that is happening on the back of that I'm going to narrate on YouTube in little videos and the videos I'm going to turn into audio episodes and that requires a podcast feed. Now I've done this many times and I thought maybe this is a nice idea for you guys to have a look at how to do that. Before we get into the technical nitty gritty of how I do that, I wanted to share with you a little bit of what a podcast actually is and how it comes to be. So if we take as an example my personal website here, verselewis.com, I have a tab at the top here which says my podcast feeds. And that's kind of a list of all the podcast feeds that I'm currently making or currently producing on the back of the stuff I'm doing on YouTube. And one of them here, let's take this as an example, the is Jay's 3D podcast feed. And this is one tab here, which is listen on iTunes. And if I open that in a new tab, then you can see that this is it here. This is the 3D podcast, or this is my 3D podcast as it appears on iTunes. Now, how do we get from my website to this and what's the correlation there? Well, let's have a look into that first and we can learn the anatomy of a podcast and how this kind of works behind the scenes. So if I head into my website's dashboard here, then the way you write posts is that usually posts end up in categories and in the categories menu, you can see what categories you have and how many posts are in there and what posts are in there. So one of the things that I've set up here is uh, at the bottom, there's screencasts, which is kind of a category. And in it, there's a 3D podcasts category. And in that I have 28 posts currently. And that's just as easy as creating a post and adding into that very category. But also on here, I've got something called podcast settings. Notice that on this category on the parent category, I don't have that and I could add that. And that's thanks to the Blueberry PowerPress plugin. And we're going to talk about how to how to get those settings in there. But for now, if I go and view this whole category, maybe also in a new tab, then I can see that this is the filtered output of that category. So I've got a category headline here. I've got a category description here. That's this. And I've got each and every post in that category with a date and a category here and a few tags here. And I'm in my case, as a YouTube video and a description. And now comes the podcast part, which is the player down here, which is kind of an embedded player. You can also download the podcast. There's a few icons that I've added in there. And that's that. And then we have the next item in that list. So that's another post posted on a different date with a different title and a different content and so forth. So that's technically how it appears on my website. But if I go over to the iTunes feed or the Apple podcast feed, and this is exactly the same for Spotify and Google Play and Stitcher and TuneIn and all the other podcast directories that there are. This is exactly what it looks like here. So technically we have the same information. We've got the same, we've got the same date, we've got the title and we've got the description here. And technically if I click on that, it should come up with a description. Don't know why it doesn't do that. Usually it does that. And if I look at this in a podcast client on my smartphone, it, it actually does that. So how do we get from here with all the graphic display of my own website to here, which is now the graphic display of iTunes? How does that happen? Well, to understand that, we can have a look at another little tool, which in my case is Firefox, to see what's happening behind the scenes there. So one thing that WordPress does by default is it creates something called an RSS feed. And that's an abbreviation for really simple syndication. And that's meant to be used for exactly this. So you have this output and without all the graphical overhead, we can extract the information from that and give it to another client that formats it slightly differently. Let me show you what I mean. 
if I have a look at my URL here, which is my domain versus lewis.com forward slash category forward slash, and then we have two categories here in my case. You can just have one category, you can have uh, just a tag. In my case, I have two categories, a parent category and a subcategory there. If I copy that out and just go to a new space here on my Mac and open Firefox, and if I paste that URL in here, then I can see, of course, the same content. Why wouldn't I see that? Why would I see something different? So there we go, this is exactly the same. But if I amend my URL with the word feed here, and if I hit return, then Firefox will display the whole thing slightly differently. And I'm showing you this in Firefox because in Safari, it doesn't quite work. Safari says, hey, do you want to open this in iTunes? And I, I don't know how to, how to really show this any other way. So Firefox displays this as a vanilla kind of RSS feed. And look at that, we have the same information. We've got the title here, which is J3D Podcast. We've got the description of our podcast feed down here. And then we have one entry with the date and the description. And at the back of that, we have a media file that's now attached to this feed. And then we have another entry with the same thing, the date and the description and the media feed here and so forth. And this is happening uh, 23, 28 times in my podcast feed. And so what iTunes really does is look at that RSS feed. So very important with the addition of the feed of the word feed here at the back. iTunes looks at that extracts the information and formats it slightly differently. And all the other directories do that in the same way, like Spotify and Google Play and so forth. And last but not least, your podcast client on your smartphone does precisely that. So if I go and take my smartphone here, my iPhone 6S Plus, and I look at my list of podcasts here, then I can see that uh, down here in Jay's 3D podcast, I, I can see exactly the same thing. And that is what the podcast client does. It, it essentially looks at this feed that is provided by my website via WordPress, extracts the information, and then it just goes and lets me play the audio files that are attached to that. So WordPress does this out of the box without us doing anything to it. Uh, but these editions of the media files, there's a bit of work that is involved there and that is where the PowerPress plugin comes in. So let's see how we can create that and add that to our website. Let me get over to Firefox because that's kind of my go-to thing. And I'm gonna go and uh, close this thing down. I'm gonna type in my new website here, which is supersurvivor.tv. And that's the website on which I would like to add that podcast to. So currently there's nothing in regards to a podcast feed on there. So if I go to journal, that's kind of my, my blog feed here that I can see all these uh, entries that I've made, but none of them is indeed a podcast feed. Now let's see how we can make that happen. If I go into my dashboard under posts, I can see all my posts and I've got one which I would like to use as my first episode in the podcast feed. And it's important that we have at least one episode so that we can submit this to directories. Now, the, the way this works is the feed that comes out of WordPress can already be used in a podcast client. So if you wanted to, if you don't want to submit your podcast to a directory like Apple Podcasts or iTunes or whatever it's called or Spotify, then you can just give out that feed URL to your listeners, that is possible. But the directories make it possible that people find you. It's a bit like Google in a way, the search engine. Uh, if people look for you, then they find you there. And the Apple podcast directory is the largest podcast directory in the world at the time of recording. And then Spotify is kind of in a, in a second place and then everything else falls into place. Stitcher is also big. So if you submit your feed to these directories, then you have a bigger chance of people discovering your content and then listen to it it as a result. But to make this happen, this is my first entry that I'd like to have as an episode and I need at least one episode, otherwise I don't have a feed. I don't have a category for that yet, so let me click into this and just create one quickly. I can do that from the post or I can do that from the categories menu over here and then create a category. But it's easy for me to do it from here and then create a new category with this. Now. I'm envisioning this to be, this is a terrible thumbnail here, isn't it? But hey, we're gonna worry about that later. I'm envisioning this to be 
one of many podcast feeds that's going to go on my website. So what the BBC does, for example, with podcast feeds is that they, if they have a six part radio program, then they group that together as a new feed and then that becomes the podcast. So they don't have a feed with like 150 episodes because that's really cumbersome for people to listen to one program that's grouped together specific on one topic. And it's a little bit like what I envision. I'm either going to do this monthly that I have a podcast feed for every month or that I'm going to have one at least for every year so that uh, depending on how many episodes there are in, it's, it's kind of cumbersome for people to go through through it. You can do it differently that you have one podcast feed and there are basically 200 episodes over the course of the next so many years. But it is likely that you want to group your content together in smaller chunks. And that's why category podcasting is really helpful. So in my case, for that, then I'm going to create a new category. I'm going to call that podcast. And I'm just going to create that and uh, WordPress automatically puts my thing into that. But I'm going to I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to create another one and I'm going to call that season one. So in that way, that's kind of podcast season one. But perhaps I'm going to do that podcast season one and I'm going to create the parent category for that to be podcast. So now I have two categories, only one of which is the one that I want my podcast to appear in, which is namely podcast season one. And so if I have season two, then that would go underneath the podcast thing. And so that's that's how I'm going to do that. So all I need to do now is uh, nothing really, just, just hit the save draft button until we're ready to publish this. So my post is now in one category, but that doesn't mean that my feed is already, or my website is already set up to use podcasts. So we need, we need to do one more thing for that. And that's, we need to head over to the plugins tab here and add a new plugin. So in my case, it's not installed here, which is kind of good. So let's add one. And uh, the way WordPress works is it's just going to go onto the WordPress repository and grab the plugin that we need. In our case, it's called PowerPress. And there we go. PowerPress podcasting plugin by Blueberry. And that's the one. I'm going to go and install that. And that comes up with a lot, lot of settings. So we're going to have a look at how to do that. I'm just going to go and activate that. And then I'll show you where this is. And then in the next episode, we're going to see how to configure all that. So it comes up with lots and lots of messages here. I'm going to close that. This is kind of just advertising for the Blueberry hosting service. So we don't really want to see that. Uh, here it is now on the left hand side. There's PowerPress and there's settings up here. So if we go and click on that, then uh, the, it's, it comes up with what's known as simple mode. And that's kind of a simple way to get started. We need to do a little bit of advanced setup here. So I'm going to show you what that entails. Currently, this, this is all that it wants us to fill out here the settings, then create one blog post. We've already done that. And then we need to submit this to the podcast directories if we so desire. Now, before we continue, I want to do something that is kind of hinted at the top here, switch to advanced mode. And that's the kind of thing that I need. And I would recommend you do that as well. So click that button and that'll put this plugin into advanced mode. And when you do that, all these tabs come up here. And these will, I'm going to do that because this is very similar to what we're going to see in the category podcasting thing that we're going to activate in a moment. So on the bottom here, you see advanced options. And one of these advanced options is category podcasting. And if we add that, then the plugin lets us not just create a podcast for a single category or like one category. It lets us do that for several categories. And the advantage of this is that we can literally, like I explained earlier, that we can have a season one feed that's separate from a season two feed and a season three feed. Or if you, I'm always trying to explain this in terms of if you write or if you podcast about recipes and cars, then your car audience might not care about recipes and your recipe audience might not care about cars. So you want to really keep these two things separately. And this is exactly like that. You have one podcast feed for one category and another completely different one for another category, but it allows you to host all that from one website. And that's kind of the, the beauty of that. So if we click that and hit save changes, then 
we can see that category podcasting has now come up as an option. That's the only thing that changes. And if we click into that, kind of ignoring all these options at the top, then we can set up category podcasting for a particular feed. So uh, this is now the category podcasting tab here. And we can see that we don't have anything right now on here. And that's cool. We're going to leave it like that. And in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to select the category and configure it with all these things that will then show up in your podcast feed in the various directories. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I'm going to see you in the next part. Bye bye.